one thing I love about the internet is you could turn your back for just a couple of seconds, a minute, an hour, and you come back and more crazy shit just goes on while you're away. Case in point, what's going on right now with Cog the Cuck, an armored skeptic? Now, the last time I had talked about Cog, I had mentioned how his brand new show, The Kayfabe Casino, was falling apart because of Esoteric Shaggy's copyright claim on the show and the subsequent mental breakdown Cog's been having as a result of that. Well, just when you thought things could not get any more worse for the Kayfabe Casino, of course, things gotta get fucking worse. Because you see, Polyfrog64 is out of a job. Oh, yes. Polyfrog confirmed that Cog fired him. Polyfrog's riding solo now. And the new ho -ho co host of the Kayfabe Casino is Dan. Dan the man. The same Dan who flew out to Portugal with Cog to beat the shit out of Ethan Ralph during Ralph's second Portugal trip. Good old Dan, he's going to be the number two now. Now there's uh, some speculations as to why Cog has decided he's going to allow Dan to be the number two of the show now. The uh, main one is because Dan will accept less pay than whatever Polyfrog was getting. So I'm uh, a bit bummed out. The Polyfrog is out of a job. But Polyfrog was always better off. Riding solo. Doing his own thing. But. Whereas Polyfrog is out of a job. Another man is out of his mind. <laughs> and that is Armored Skeptic. Now I've made some videos in the past detailing the decline of Armored Skeptic sanity. I went over a couple of posts on his Instagram and on his YouTube community page where he was lamenting the fact that he was getting shadow banned. And people were just unsubscribing to him and how his little YouTube empire was falling apart. And just when you thought things could not get any worse for Greg, of course they had to get worse because now, oh, now, now more and more people are starting to pick up on Greg's little mental breakdown. There's a wonderful chap by the name of, uh, give me one sec here. Let me just make sure I got his name right. I should know his name off the top of my head. He is the Walt Disney of this little sphere of the internet. Oh, fuck, what's his name? I'm trying to find his channel. Ah, here we go. The King of Sting. The Walt Disney of this little sphere of the internet. He made a video. <laughs> Maki Garbage Skeptic about five hours ago. Link of which is going to be in the description below. He's dabbing on Armored Skeptic. Dame Pesos is celebrating the downfall of Craig. And even Ethan Ralph. Good old Mr. Ralph, he too is laughing at the demise of Armored Skeptic's sanity. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. It's beautiful, and I've been watching this for a while now. It's been a slow process, but it's been a magical process, say, nonetheless. <sighs> I mean, first, you know, him and June break up because he can't get his dick sucked because the fucking borders were closed during COVID. Then Skeptic decides he's gonna be, uh, start his own cult. That fell apart very quickly. Then he's going to start talking about Bigfoot <laughs> and other urban legends. And now he's throwing the mother of all temper tantrums because he was getting quote-unquote shadow banned by fucking YouTube. And now everyone's just starting to pick up on this and everyone's just starting to pull down their pants and take a massive shit all over fucking Greg. 
I'm kind of interested now in to see what Shuan Head's reaction is going to be to all of this. I'm not so sure if Shuan Head's going to openly say her feelings publicly, or if she's just going to keep it to herself. But you better believe she's going to learn all about this. No doubt she's having herself a grand old time, knowing that her ex-boyfriend, her ex-fiance. The man who dumped her on her birthday because he couldn't get his dick sucked on mo no more is spiraling out of control. Oh, shoe and head continues to be on the up and up. <sighs> I, I'm very much interested in seeing what happens next between Cog and the Kayfabe Casino and Armored Skeptics never any mental breakdowns. I very much am. Well... <laughs> Will it lead to a suicide? I don't know. It's apparently legal in Canada to kill yourself now, so... Maybe... Maybe Arbert Skeptics found himself a way out. I mean, it's either that or working in a fast food joint for the rest of his life. So... Uh, stay tuned for more developments on that. But, uh, yeah. It's just amazing. Just amazing. It really is. Anyway, uh... Hope you guys have a good one.